appreciate you for all the likes, all the comments, all the sharing. I appreciate you a lot. Without you, there is no me. My passion is to share tips and dreams on sewing. So today I'm sharing another interesting topic on sewing, which is written on the screen. So without saying much, let's dive into the project. Love you. For new subscriber, please do not forget to subscribe, share, comment, ask any questions. Your suggestion is welcome. I love you. See ya. The very first thing we will do is to measure out from our fabric the length and the width. The length is 29 inches, while the width is our hip measurement plus 3 inches. So I have 13 for front, while I have 15 for the back. So we'll measure out um, 1 inch allowance for the top edge of our fabric or paper, depending on the one you are using, before we will now measure our waist to hip measurement. A waist to hip measurement standard is 8, but I use formula. Mine is 8 quarter inches. So we'll mark and square out. So we'll now mark, also, we'll also mark the length of our skirts. I will minus one and a half inch for my band from the old measurements. Three inches is for my aiming allowance. Not to forget, I have four layers of fabric, the lining for the back, the lining for the front, the four is laid on on each other. Now, my lining is three inches shorter than the main fabric. So now, what we'll do is to measure out our horizontal measurements, our waist, our hip. So my waist is 30, I divided by 47 and a half plus one inch that allowance plus one and a half inch sewing allowance. Now my hip is 41. So I added one inch is allowance. So I divided it by four and I added one and a half inch sewing allowance. So the same measurement, I'm going to transfer it to the length of my skirt down there. So I mark. Then I'm not going to connect all my lines together. So I connect my waist to hip with a, a, a cuff, a hip cuff. So we we'll raise half inch up from that, uh, from the uh, waist measurement up. Then we we'll connect to the center back. That's for the back. Then for the front, we we'll come down by half an inch. You can come down by one inch. You can come down by one and a half inch, depending on the protruding stomach of the person. So now we will mark our dart and dart. So my dart is uh, eight inches. I divide by four. I divide by two rather. I divide by two, which I get four then plus half inch. So I will mark. Then in between it, I will mark half an inch. So I square down the same measurement. Now the back is five and a half inch. I subtracted one and a half of my waistband. So I connect my lines. Now I'm going to mark for my slit. The slit is 8 inches plus the 3 inches of my aiming allowance. All together that is 10 inches. So I will mark and square it out. So now I'm going to mark my zip allowance because I'm going to cut part of that slit, that measurement of the slit, which is two inches. I'm going to ma measure out of it. So um, uh, my zip allowance is five eighths of an inch. You can use one inch, but I feel one inch is too much to be bulky. So I use five eighths of an inch for my zip allowance. So now you can taper your skirt, but I want mine to be straight. You can taper it if you want to make it a little bit fitted. So I fold in my hemming allowance to be able to cut my material. So I will cut the back first, cutting it from the center back. So I will cut, making sure that my dad has an extra. A pointer though for my front skirt 
I will remove my DAT allowance. So I did that off camera. Normally, for somebody who has a protruding stomach, don't add that because it will give it some kind of wrinkle when you wear your skirt. But for those that have slim stomach, you can add your DAT. So now, when we finish cutting our skirt, so I'm now going to the main pointer for the slit. I'm going to remove the front. So I'm cutting for the front now. The half inch that we, that we brought down, I'm cutting it out now. So can you see how beautiful the cut is? So beautiful. I love my cutting. So now I'm going to fold out the, the uh, lining and the main fabric so that I can actually deal with the back. Please don't cut fabric like this. It's just a mistake. I highly advise you not to cut like this. Place your fabric on the table then cut. But because I ironed the grease line, so I use the grease line to cut it because if I made it make a mistake when you do that. So now I'm going to cut out the slit. You can choose any part of your back. It can be the left side, it can be the right side to get your slit. So one part is going to be a, remain the same. Why one part we're going to reduce from the lining and we're going to reduce um, the fabric. So for the fabric, I'm going to measure one and a half inch up. One and a half inch by three and a half inch width. Two inches is for the slits that we added and one and a half for the overlapping that will, that will overlap each other. So I'm going to cut that out of the fabric. Forget, I forgot to notch, so always make sure you notch your material, please. So now we're going to cut the, for the lining, we're going to cut the total out, which is the same three and a half inches. We're going to cut it out. As you are seeing the way I'm marking it, so that's what we're going to cut out. I'm just trying to demonstrate to show you two inches is for the added slit allowance then the one and a half inch is what is going to overlap each other so we're going to cut for the line we're going to cut it out so guys you can see it this is how it's going to look before we now sew it so if this has been helpful please share and comment and subscribe and press the notification bell thank you